Question 3, same as question 2. Given that the exact value of the cosine of theta is 5 thirteenths, find the exact value of sine theta and cos 2 theta. Well, simplest way to get sine from cos would be geometrically by reconstructing the triangle that generated the angle theta. Well, if the cosine is 5 thirteenths, it means the side adjacent to the angle is 5 and the hypotenuse is 13. And immediately that makes that side 12 because that's that well-known Pythagorean triple, the 5, 12, 13 triangle. So now I have the triangle. What's the sign? Opposite. Opposite of the hypotenuse. The sign is exactly 12 thirteenths. The problem with the cosine is there's several ways of working it out. Well, there's three ways of working it out depending on which variety. The initial variety is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. We'll just do all three ways. So that would be 5 thirteenths squared minus 12 thirteenths squared. Well, they're both out of 13 squared. And 13 squared is 169. And then squaring the tops, I've got 25 take away 144. And when you do 25 take away 144, you get negative 119. So it's going to be negative 119 over 169 for the cos of 2 theta. And it's just really a case of, was it easier to do that? Or was it easier to use this formula? Cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. You've also got 1 minus 2 sine squared theta, but they seem about equal to each other. Well, how do these compare to each other? So that would be 2 times the cos squared theta. The cos of theta was 5 thirteenths squared minus 1. So that's going to be 2 times 25 over 169 minus 1. So it's actually taking a wee bit longer. Because now I've got to take away 1, which I'll have to change into 169. So I'll have to do 50 take away 169, which of course still gives you 119 over 169. In this case it was probably slightly easier using the cos squared minus sine squared rather than that particular one. But it's a matter of taste.